Hello, I'm Jane. I'm the founder of the Studio Club and Snapdragon Life. Welcome to my studio vlog. In today's newsletter, I was talking about how I got addicted as a teenager to buying yarn when it was very cheap um, because the local mills had closed down and how for about 20 years that was all stored at my parents until my mum went you know all this wool you've got in the spare bedrooms could you take it away now so now it's down in the studio and I've been really trying very hard to use up that yarn and to kind of when I do projects to do things with the small bits of wool that I've got left over. So at the moment um, what I've been knitting is hanger like clothes hanger covers and in the um, newsletter you can get a link to the pattern for that if you wanted um, that's down underneath this video. Um, and as I'm knitting all of these things I'm thinking well are they really just, you know, um, like a kind of crafty, do die, doily kind of thing? And I thought, no, they're not, because my memory of knitted coat hangers really is tied up with my gran. And she had in her bedroom a, like a big dark wood wardrobe. And my cousin and I would hide in that. We had a great elaborate game going on. And I remember it so distinctly because it smelled of mothballs and it also smelled of lavender. And in the wardrobe, there were all of these knitted and crocheted coat hangers. And there was such a feeling of everything being looked after. So there was dust sheets over um, kind of winter coats and things would be very invisibly mended to keep them going and they would be let out, they would be hemmed and rehemmed. and for me I think that part of that starts with the hangers because if you, if you've got a wardrobe space that is kind of like well ordered and it has, everything has it, its place that it's meant to be and it's very practical because knitted coat hangers are incredibly practical. Nothing slides off them and heads to the floor um, because you can sew on like little buttons which will keep the straps or the hanging loops on them. Um, and they also keep all of the clothes quite far apart. So unlike those kind of you need to get those hanger things that you can hang 20 items on one hanger and your whole wardrobe gets squashed and musty and creased you don't know what's in there with the hangers it's kind of a little bit like having one of these minimalist um wardrobe things because you can only fit 30 things on your reel rather than 300 things and it's that care it's the consideration it's the intentionality that I think is quite interesting and if we if we give time and care and, and thought do we end up with something that is more sustainable more intentional more the way that we actually want to live all that from a coat hanger if you want to find out more you can sign up to my newsletter list if you sign up here then you will get the um, email that is about the clothes hangers and also the pattern for them if you're wanting to make your own wardrobe, wonderfully intentional. Um, you can also subscribe to this channel, that means you get to see my weekly vlogs which are always about creativity, sustainability, life with a small business. Thank you very much and I'll see you next time.